the only reason why it's good and bad is because um, it's good that she can come towards me so I can get healed faster, but it's also bad because sometimes she, she may detect or alert enemies to my presence, to our presence. So there's a soldier, and I'm going to wait for him to turn around, and once he does, that's when I make my way past him. Okay, I think we're in the clear, so I'm going to go ahead and go straight and sneak right by him. See, there he is. Alright, so now we're coming up to an electric minefield. Uh, basically, all you gotta do is just move slowly past these mines, and um, I recommend crouching. Um, so if you move too fast, you get a shock, electric shock, and it does some damage to you. You can only take like three or four hits before you die. Um, so just move slowly and you should be alright. Like I said, I recommend crouching. And so if you, uh, if you get an electric shock, don't worry, it won't, you know, it won't be game over. It'll just hurt you slightly. Connect yourself to the terminal. We need to find a way to open it up. And for those of you who want some more story points, um, what Amy and I are trying to do is to get to this hospital so that a doctor there named Dr. Ellen Lavanya is going to help run some tests on Amy just to see how she is. Amy, you're such a brave girl. We're getting out of here. Okay, here's another glass window that you want to use the Dome of Silence, Amy's power, on. Like so. And then just break it with your wooden stick. Ah. Alright, and I believe there's a zombie out here. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. He is there now. And I'm gonna see if I can sneak past him. I doubt I can. Usually I fight him. Let me see, I'm gonna do my best to sneak past the guy. Uh, oh, he spotted me. Alright, time to fight. Uh, uh, uh. Whoa. He is a bit harder than your average zombie. Alright. My name is Pastor John, and many of you know me, or someone from our... That guy, Pastor John, he's just a preacher, um, from a church inside this city, known as Silver City, um, and he's just, he believes that this, um, outbreak of zombies is a sign from God, and now he's asking all religious people, all Christians, to, uh, take up arms and fight against this, uh, the zombie apocalypse. That's basically all he's saying. Nothing too important, really. But do remember his face. That is important. Alright, so... Um, I, I was looking for that guy who has the DNA uh, codes to unlock that door, and it's over here. It's the burned body over here. And he's the guy who can help me unlock the codes to that, uh, to that door. To unlock that door. And... And if I go down this way, I can actually get like um, two syringes and another wooden stick. But other than that, there's nothing over there. So I'm not going to do it. Uh, there's no point. I got enough syringes and my wooden stick is still in good condition. So I'm not going to go that way. Then you're a survivor. You've been chosen. Chosen to live. God and his church are on your side. The first thing is getting yourselves to safety. We've got food and water, lots of it, and strong walls were designed into this here house of God. If you are alone and afraid, make for the second church of revelations. On the corner, open them. Prayer is not going to be enough. This is a game for you, Amy. Can you help us out? So now I'm trying to head back to that room where that soldier once was to unlock that door with the DNA scanner now that I got the proper uh, authorization codes. And so yeah, like I said, Pastor John, um, what he just said was that, you know, him and all the religious people should take up arms to defeat this zombie outbreak. 
and uh, he doesn't really say anything too important, but just remember his face and his and and just him. That's a good one. Bravo. So once again, I gotta sneak past this electric minefield. It's not too difficult. Like I said, just move slow and steady. Oh. Okay, see, I moved a little too fast there, and I got a shock. But I'm alright. If you get heavily damaged by the electric shocks, then just use a syringe to heal yourself. Okay, so you were supposed to let that zombie spot you so that soldier can kill him. And now that soldier's gonna go back and close that gate. So now I'm stuck in this area, so what you gotta do now is you gotta go down here and there's gonna be a hole for Amy to crawl through. Put her through there. So since I'm separated from Amy now, I'm going to be slowly starting to turn into a zombie. Here's the syringe. And uh, so i got to make my way fast back towards Amy. And so what I'm trying to do is that Amy went through this one room that's locked, but she was able to get in there through that hole. And now I'm going to have to like uh, go towards that room by going up here. So I go to this door and then go all the way at the end of this hallway, of this walkway, to this one. And this is the room where Amy's in, except she's down there. So I just have her get on the elevator, and then lift it up. I'm gonna have Amy heal me real quick, and then I'm gonna have her press that button. And I'm gonna get on that elevator. And down here is a key card that I can use so I can get past that gate that that soldier closed. And there's also a syringe. So I'm going to go ahead and get those. And um, I know it says that Amy can get them, but um, she won't do it when she's down there because she has to climb this box. And I guess apparently she can't climb boxes or something like that. So I have to get them. There we go. So I got the key card and the syringe. Go back on the elevator and have Amy lift me up. Beam me up, Amy. Now I'm going to have Amy heal me a little bit, and then I'm going to have her wait on the elevator and I'm going to lift it back down, send it back down, All right, stay right here Amy, and now I'm just going to lift it back, uh, send it back down, right, get out of my way, alright so I'm going to send it back down now. Okay so now I just have to go back, and then go back towards that hole that Amy crawled in, and then have her come out of that hole because uh, we're done with that area. And yes, Lana is the slowest climber of ladders ever. I've mentioned that before, but I think it bears repeating. She is super slow. Oh well, I guess it's for more of like the realistic survival horror approach, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so now that I uh, got Amy out of there, and we got the key card, we can now go, there's like a door next to that locked gate that the soldier closed, and this door over here, so now I can use the key card to get through this door, like so, and now I can get past the gate. Alright, so I passed the gate up, and the soldier, he's over here, but he has his back turned the entire time, so as long as you just sneak by, you know, just like crouch, go into stealth mode, and just sneak by him, he won't uh, detect you. So yeah, he just he just stands there like that. And now I can open this door. DNA match. Access card. I can't get through to Ellen. Something is jamming the communication signals. I need to find out what. John, the scrambler in the server room is starting to show signs of wear and tear. 
Go take a look at it, will you? Now we just need to find that server room, Amy. We're going to cut the scrambler, and then we can call Ellen. A scrambler is a machine that jams signals. Let's go. I'll show you. So I moved that out of the way so Amy can go through this hole. Wait for me here, Amy. I'm going to go around and I'll come back to you on the other side. Yeah, because you don't want to go out the way you came because the soldier will now um, be wary of presence if you try to go out from where you, once you came. So you go out the uh, alternate exit. And so I put aim through that hole, then I go through here and I'm back on that walkway. And um, just gotta cl uh, go over, shimmy over this ledge. And then, um, then I'll be able to go back to the other room and then get back down to Amy. And so yeah, let me talk about the story just a little bit more. Um, so Amy and I are trying to get to this hospital to meet up with Dr. Ellen Lavanya so that she can treat Amy because, you know, as I said, I broke Amy out of a, a research center called uh, the Phoenix Center because of the fact that the professor there was doing like crude experiments on Amy. So I broke her out and then uh, as I was traveling to meet up with Dr. Lavanya, uh, you know, that explosion happened which created this zombie outbreak. Um, we don't know why, but it just happened. Some kind of meteor hit or something like that. And so, um, so now we're trying to, st we're still on the mission to meet up with Dr. Lavanya, but the professor from the Phoenix Center named Professor Raymond, he's, uh, sent his soldiers, uh, to capture Amy. So that's what's going on right now. So I'm sneaking past these mines again, and then I'll go to this room over here on the left because this is the room where Amy is and I'm going to call her towards me because I don't want to get near those uh, red puddles, blood puddles and I'm let her heal me a little bit and then I'm going to send her to go get that wooden stick for me because you know I can't go there due to those red puddles, they, they'll kill me they're like highly contaminated and now it's time to get out of here Amy, you're such a brave girl. We're getting out of here. I turn on Amy's lantern because it does get dark a little bit over here. Just so I can avoid these uh, red puddles. Here goes a zombie. Alright, let's fight. Oh, dodged a little too early there. Whoa. Alright, just so you know, Lana could only swing three times and then she'll stop. And so once you do that, if you swing three times, just make sure you dodge, because um, you can't swing again. Alright, and here's one final puzzle before you end this chapter. Um, and just so you know, just in case you screw up, an alarm will go off, and you can hide right underneath this table from the soldier, if you screw up this puzzle. Because an alarm will sound and alert the soldier. Alright, so this is the diamond puzzle, all you gotta do is just make all the diamonds look different. And this puzzle different every time, so... Alright, so I got the one, second one is right. So let me change this one to that, that one to that, this one to that. Alright, so the third one is wrong, like that. And that ends the second chapter. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, I'll post chapter 3 up soon. And thanks for watching. See you later.